if they back up in a trot and they sliding stop in their front feet. I think you got a lot of backing in your life, girl. You're right. <laughs> I think she will stop better than probably what you think she would stop. <laughs> I mean, the stop that she had over here. Yeah, she had a good one. Was way better, <clears throat> you know. And I know it's part of me getting really straight. Yeah, that's a big part of it. I know that that's a huge part. It's me being really straight and asking yeah. really straight. Yeah, her going to the ground straight and her being balanced. You know, even if you're going straight but she's leaning, they ain't gonna stop well. And so, one of the things that, like I've found is like, you know, we can lope circles all day long, but we got to ride straight lines. They've got to get comfortable going straight. And she seems like she's fairly comfortable going, you know, straight, but we want to make sure, like, are they leaning? Because if they're heavy on one shoulder, mm -hmm. then that's going to affect how they go to the ground. Now, when they go to sliding stop, their back feet are sliding, but what are their front feet doing? <laughs> Still moving, aren't they like pulling them along? Okay. Isn't that right? They pull with the front? Uh, Somewhat? I wouldn't necessarily say they pull. They kind of splay. Yeah, they trot up front. Okay, yeah, I knew they were still. Yeah, and that's really important to understand. Because, I knew they were doing something. To yeah, and there. you don't necessarily see them pulling because if they're pulling, we think about the hunter jumpers. Okay. Those horses pull themselves around an arena, and they pull, and their ass ends 18 yards behind them. Right? Yeah, they like long back horses. Well, God, they might as well drive a limousine then if they want a long-backed hunter, you know, like, so, but those horses are so heavy on the forehand that they are pulling, but there's no engagement from behind. Mm -hmm. The, the reiners, and you can look at a dressage horse, like those horses, like the reiners, they're very engaged from behind. They're elevated in front. Everyone sees them go to the ground and they think they just hit it like a sack of bricks. Yeah. They don't, they're, they're light because they go to the ground and they keep their chest up and they fold in half and their front end trots through. If they were pulling or pushing, yeah. they couldn't get 30 feet, yeah. but they're, they're trotting up front. So if we understand that they trot up front, what are the horses thinking about when they actually sliding stop, though? Bringing their ass under? I don't know. Uh, it's okay. I'm asking you to see where you're at. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to help you with all of this. So when they go to the ground, one, they're thinking about relaxing, but two, they're thinking about backing up. Okay. So when a horse backs up, what are their feet doing? If you, if you put them together, how would their feet move in the back up? Oh, they're moving like a trot. Yeah. So if they back up in a trot and they sliding stop in their front feet. I think you got a lot of backing in your life, girl. You're right. <laughs> and they sliding stop, those feet have to stay free in the shoulders because they're trotting up front as they slide back. The one thing I see of most all is what you just said. We got to improve that back up. Because backup is the That's first. Why she slides. Okay. She backs up like you're chugging backwards. Yeah, and it's and it's not like early on with her. I want I want her more. I want her less tense because she's freaking tight. All right. So you need to relax in the back up a little bit, and it might feel like you're like God. I have to go back to this crap again. But like, that's what makes all these stuff work. Like we're taking the sliding stop and we're going, let's break it down. Yeah. Because we need all the ingredients to the sliding stop to be really good for it to ever be possible. If one piece is off and she's leaning here, no matter, you're gonna slide over. You know, if she's tied up in the, if she doesn't back up well and she like, right now when she's backing up, she gets so tight under her neck and her shoulder locks up. She locks her jaw. Yeah, and that's gonna be really tough for her to back up because if she's tight in the jaw, it's gonna go through her whole body. And so we really need her to be more relaxed in that backup, which means that we're just gonna say, hey, I just want you to take your hands, just like when you're riding forward, I want you to keep them up in front of you a little bit more because we want her to start to utilize, to, to flex in the pole, but to elevate her chest, which is, means that she's gonna have to, eventually she'll start sitting down more, which is then if I took that exact same picture and just went, you'd be slightly stopping because you'd be in the right, you'd be in the same position, right? So that's, we're, we're literally going backwards 
to try to get this to go, for everything to go forwards. Um, along with the backup is going to be, once we get the backup a little more relaxed, it will be over a period of time, backing her up and riding her forward back into that contact without the balance changing. Because if once we start to get her balance better going back, if you can ride her forward and keep the hind end underneath and make it feel like she's three inches taller than she normally is, then you're in a really good position to do that. But you have to understand with her too, because you and I like to, we both like to ride our horses quite a bit and we ride them more intensely. And the muscles that you're gonna be asking her to use when you slow down like this would be like us just holding a weight out here. And there's only so long we can do that right. before we have to set it down, pick it up again. And you, those longer reps with lighter weight like that, you're not gonna do a whole lot of them. You're gonna do just enough because you don't want her, like if she's already like gets a little pissy about stuff, the last thing you wanna do is get her really damn sore and then go ride her the next day. Most of us have trouble developing our horses and ourselves. Many of us don't have access to quality professionals around the clock and it can be overwhelming and frustrating to sort through all the information out on the internet. The Inner Circle with Colt Woods Horsemanship provides you with hundreds of hours of real, raw horsemanship and lifemanship tools. The Inner Circle is available for less than half the cost of a single lesson each month. We want to cure the frustration and provide the answers that you and your horse have been looking for.